So one of the most influential women superstars of all time in the WWE, especially in the modern era. We're talking about Becky Lynch. And more importantly, we're talking about potentially her leaving the WWE. Now, the news are that her contract situation has came up and she's she's been silent about it but finally she's been asked a question and according to her she has not signed anything yet mm -hmm. now obviously this doesn't mean she's leaving tomorrow or maybe she's not even leaving at all but there, this is confirmation that there is a possibility and we got to talk about it man kenny do you think she leaves do you think she stays here forever is she a wwe lifer what do you think you know what? People keep saying there's nothing to his story. She's not going anywhere. I saw it on X as soon as the story pops up. She's not going nowhere. But why are we this close to her contract expiring? I believe she said she has two more months on her contract and she still hasn't yep. signed. And we've heard the same thing about Seth Rollins. He still hasn't signed anything either. Now, he just had that injury. So I think if they want to add injury time to his contract, they can. But if, yep. she, if that time comes up and she doesn't sign, I think there's a good chance that Seth Rollins is out of there too. So what's the game plan here? Are they holding off on signing a new contract until they can negotiate with AEW to try to get a higher um, contract with WWE? Or are they really looking to get out of there? Because if we look at Becky Lynch, she's been performing. She's got a big spot at WrestleMania this year, as does Seth Rollins. But he's been hurt bad. We saw Seth Rollins was really hot when he did the whole burn it down gimmick. And now even though he is their world champion at the top of their cards, He's just not as hot as he was before. P I mean, look at him in this whole Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes thing. He's like on the back burner. He's kind of like the minion. He's like the pawn in the whole thing. And they've, they've been burying him. Now, unfortunately, Roman kind of fell down to the side with them. But Seth Rollins, I think he's a lot better than they portray him. So I would not be surprised if he wants to get out of there and boost his profile just like Cody Rhodes did, just like Drew McIntyre did, just like Jinder Mahal did. I mean, he left and came back and became um, he became a champion. So I think if Seth Rollins leaves, there's a lot of potential. And Becky Lynch not signing uh, yet, I think, has a lot to do with that. Brian, what do you think? I like your last point with Becky Lynch not signing yet at the end. Because it could be that they're both kind of holding out to see where one is going to go. Because at this point, you are talking about they have a kid together. Obviously, they're together. So they may be looking at if they're going to stay in one place together, whatever the case is. Now, me personally, I don't think they're going anywhere. But we all thought the same thing with Edge on the contrary. So you never really know what's going to happen with the WWE or AEW. But, man, it'll be really tough to see Becky, Le Becky Lynch leave. Because it's just... I just don't I just don't see Becky Lynch in AEW or even Seth Rollins in AEW. But hey man, you never know. I think um I think the fact that she's not signed two months before and even Ariel even followed up with a question and asked her and said, Is this rare that you know that you're not signed yet? Because this is like two months is crazy, bro. You're talking about she's main eventing mm -hmm. or was supposed to, you know, be she has a huge match at Mania. Um, and she's not signed. So that alone is kind of crazy. But when he asked her, he was like, all right, AEW, anything like that? She was like, nope, I'm straight. I'm, I'm only talking to WWE. It could be bluff. But, um, Seth and her really, really have seemed loyal in the past. So I don't really know if, if they go anywhere, man. So it, it's, it's a tough one. It'd be surprising though. I'll tell you that if AEW could land Seth and Becky Lynch, That'd be insane. It, that roster would start to get even more crazy. But yeah. I look at Sasha. I mean, she left for different reasons, but she had that awesome WrestleMania match with Bianca. Yep. And then a little later, she was out of there. You know what I mean? Like with wrestling, you never know. You, you yourself said it with Edge. People called him a WWE lifer. And look where he is now. Um, You know, like Tony Khan, let's get something straight. He has a lot of this. He has a hell of a lot of money. And that could sway over anybody in the world especially mm -hmm. people like Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch especially Seth Rollins I don't know if Becky has said this or not but I was listening to an interview uh, that Seth Rollins did I don't remember it was a while ago but he was saying that you know what I actually enjoy living in my hometown like it's a tiny town you know Downport Iowa I, I like it man I got my school now I got a kid I realized that wrestling is just not you know it's not the in my entire life Life is about different stuff as well. And I want to look after my kid now. So what it seemed to me like, you know, he's like, if the right circumstances were to present themselves, if I'm making the money, if I'm living comfortably, and if I'm, more importantly, being happy with my family, 
getting to hang out with them. An example for this is like with Osprey, you know, that's literally what he said. Like, oh, I get to hang out more with my family here. So that's why I chose AEW. Now, obviously, Osprey never really had that many ties with WWE. He got invited personally by Paul Heyman to evolve and, uh, you know, by extension to the WWE back in the day. But we're talking about Seth Rollins here. He's pretty much buddy buddy with uh, Triple H. Uh, so I, it's hard to believe, even with these arguments, that they will go to AEW, but it certainly isn't impossible. Again, money is a huge factor, though I don't think these two needs it. Um, it'd be cool. It was. It would be nice for AEW to have these two there because, I mean, especially Seth Rollins, as I'm sure tons of friends there. I mean, like ROH was, you know, integrated to AEW. So that's pretty much everybody in ROH. Seth Rollins probably knows, you know, by proximity or some other reason. But yeah, I, I don't think these two will be leaving WWE. I think they are going to like, oh, we might go to AEW, you know, use that as a trump card, like you guys said, to get the contract monies up a little bit, maybe, or not even get more money. But Seth might say, for example, you said, Kenny, oh, they're burying, they're burying me. My, your guys are burying me, you know, put me in a better position. Or I'll go to AEW instead of asking for money. So I think there's going to be some negotiations. Yeah. I mean, if that's a smart thing to do, by the way, like I'm sure Sami Zayn, back in the day, or Kevin Owens, when their contracts came up, like they could have gone there too, and I'm sure 100% that they used the fact that AEW exists to get some cushy, cushy contracts. Okay, KO got three so, mil. There you go. Mm, so you go. he got, he got a and big that's contract. What I'm saying. So, that's what I'm saying. Like Both of y'all are saying, I don't think they would go to AEW. I don't think they would go to AEW. Becky Lynch is saying, I'm only talking to WWE. But think about it. I didn't think Adam Copeland would go to AEW. I didn't think Mercedes Monet would go to AEW. I didn't think Brian Payton would go to AEW. Seth Rollins is in the same light of John Moxley. Nobody thought he would go to AEW, but he popped up over at AEW. I think all it takes is Seth Rollins to lean into his wife's ear and say, you know what? Let's hear him out. If Tony Khan gave Okada $4 million a year, allegedly is what I believe the number is thrown around, what is he going to offer a Seth Rollins? Because that's a big hit to WWE. Just like Cody Rhodes was a big hit to AEW, Seth Rollins is a big hit to WWE. So if Tony Khan wants to stick it to them, he has the money, and I think he would offer it to them. I got to make this point real quick. John Moxley and Seth Rollins, the way they both talk about professional wrestling is way different. I think John Moxley is kind of crazy. Uh, he's like, uh, wh whatever you see yeah. on TV, that's what he actually thinks in real life as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. What Seth Rollins in his interviews, he's a lot more shrewd and I think intelligent when it comes to professional wrestling. And he sees his philosophy is way more aligned with the WWE. So I do see him, you know, not going to AW more so than John Moxley. But again, that money, dude, like that's what I'm life, saying. Life changing money. You know, they like can have... children's children would never need to work. Mm -hmm. I mean, then again, they can though, have like... different thoughts on wrestling, but I'm sure they got the same. <laughs> well, I'm sure, they got pretty much the same thoughts about money. John Moxley apparently doesn't care about money, but. Nah. Seth Rollins, he argued with Will Ospreay, listen, I'm there making more money than you. So if Seth Rollins can go over there, make more money, and wrestle guys like Will Ospreay and Kenny Omega, if he loves wrestling, I think he should do it, even if it's just for two years. I'm sorry, go ahead, Brian. No, no, I mean, I, I, think, the, I think the big thing here is if Seth Rollins' body is just as banged up as he says, he would benefit from an AEW schedule wrestling once or twice a week. Because mm -hmm. uh, house shows, as we all know, they're always doing a house show. Uh, so that's something as well, bro. I mean, more money and, and, and less dates, which that's what Osprey mm -hmm. said. He said, they paying me more here and I got to work less here. Like, come on now, bro. It's a no brainer. Um, yeah. it just really depends, man. Cause Seth has crapped on that side a lot too. <laughs> <laughs> so it just, he it, had it, crapped on WWE before he went back. Cody. I don't, I don't think, I don't think punk, had a I don't think punk had a choice though. If I Cody broke the throne. I mean, that's yeah. what they do. Yeah. So, I mean, what, what? We'll have to see, but if he if he does get Seth, it would be a huge W for him. But I don't know. I I don't I don't see it. But that's here's the me. thing about your point of uh, of him working uh, less of a schedule. I think that's more dangerous actually, because yeah. in the wrestling, uh, as it, when it comes to its physicality, if you work less, you're more you have more chances to get injured. Unless he keeps on training instead of doing house matches, like he goes in the ring multiple times a week and actually trains his heart out. Uh, like wrestling once a week is more dangerous than wrestling. Every oh, yeah. like multiple times because yeah. more chances. You gotta build that callus up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, uh, your muscles need to keep moving, you know. Otherwise, it's easy to you know tear something. That's a, that's you a know, good point, mate. That's a good point, leg. mate. Yeah, because I I yeah. could I could definitely see that. But I mean, right. But before yeah. we wrap it up, 
Oh, great. You have something else, Carol? No, 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 no. That, that's pretty good. All right. I need the final predictions. Brian, do they stay or do they go? I think they stay. Uh, Kero, do they stay or do they go? Should I stay or should I go? Ah, oh, man. No, I just don't see these two leaving. Now, y'all, I need y'all to look back at this video when it happens. I'm telling you, <laughs> these two are going to AEW. So make sure you run it back and kiss that ring, baby.